The following message is brought to you by the man of vision. What's going on, y'all? I'm going to talk about something that really bothers me, and that is the bad driving habits in America that a lot of people have. And you have a lot of people who are intoxicated, high, on drugs, just drink, 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 and they're out there on these dangerous highways, Cinnabur driving crazy, Cinnabur driving like they crash dummies. I get so sick and tired of driving, and I got to sit there and look at people almost sideswipe my vehicle that I'm driving. If I'm in my own lane, what is the issue and the problem with some of you drivers to stay in your lane? Why do some of you drivers sit there and drive these cars like they are Nash cars? If you want to sit there and drive a sports car over 200 miles an hour in the fast lane, or if you're a motorcyclist and you're driving a motorcycle that fast, go to the drag strip, the racetrack, and do it there. Don't sit there and put other people's lives at danger. If you're going to do that on the highway, why don't you do it where it's hardly no traffic? Why do you got to sit there and do all this showing off in front of people? It does not make a logical sense. You putting yourself in harm's way and that other person. That is a life and death situation. But I don't get why people sit there and do this crazy stuff. Another thing, you got people who will sit there and just drive on your tail. And they want you to speed up. But they don't even have sense to, enough to know that some of these police officers are hiding on bridges, hiding behind cars that look like they're uh, pulled over and these cars are just dysfunctional not working because they are using tricks to sit there and stop you and if I know that as a driver why would I sit there and just speed up knowing that it's cops around and the thing is why in the world are you on my trip now if I break short that means you rear-ended me which means you better have insurance on your butt because if you don't you're going to pay for it my thing is, I don't want to sit there and be in another accident. One accident that I was in, it was not my fault because it was a woman that looked like she was high, high off of cigarettes because she had a cigarette and her mouth listening to loud music. She had her kid in the back seat. And guess what she did? She was driving so fast. I'm sitting up here in a, another lane trying to get away from her, which I eventually did. And when I went to a stop sign, and I sat there, this woman proceeded to hit me at speeds over 60 miles an hour. I was unconscious, and when I woke up, I seen a metro bus and a bunch of people surrounded the vehicle that I was driving during that time period. And turns out, she did not have no insurance. She fled the scene, telling me to go to her apartment, which I didn't even know where her address was because she never texted me. I had to get the police officers involved. It took them over an hour to sit there and respond to me, even though I was right there. The accident was near their police station, but they was too lazy to come out there, and I had to keep simply calling over over and over again to get some help. But then when they tracked the woman down, she sat there and said that she did not have no insurance. And then she tried to put God in there to sit there and justify her uh, uh, hit me from behind at over 60 miles an hour talking about God is with both of us and we're going to get through this. No, you hit me and to this very day I got to sit here and wear a back brace because my back is completely hurt from that accident and that was what? Four years ago. Akeisha sat there and we're in me at highway speeds on the street at a stoplight. People need to stop driving so funny. And some of you drivers, you truck drivers that drive these 18 wheeler trucks, you really need to pay attention. You really need to stop sleeping behind that wheel because some of y'all, y'all not paying attention to y'all blind spots. You almost sit there and crush cars. I'm sitting up here just kicking back in my car on the highway watching the way some of y'all drive. And some of y'all be driving all crazy. Some of y'all don't even know how to how to turn wide. You sit up here all on the curve. And then y'all driving so slow. I understand trucks carry a bunch of weight. But my God, put some pep in your step, man. Put some pep in your step. Or move out the way. Don't sit there and go in the fast lane and slow everybody down. My thing is, I wish it was a highway specially made for trucks. And then we wouldn't have all these traffic problems. And some of you with these fast cars, 
don't get me wrong, I love Dodge. I love the Hellcat. I love the Challenger, the Charger, the Viper. I love sports cars. But my thing is, stop driving these sports cars off this. Stop drifting on these highways. You got elderly people who can't drive fast or who choose not to drive fast that you can easily hit and sideswipe and end their lives. But you got some of these flea market thugs, they don't care about other people's lives. They get these fast cars on drug money or whatever, and they sit there and drive like a bat out of hell, and they sit up here almost sideswiping people, jumping in front of people, driving over 200 miles an hour on the street because they want to sit there and get some type of clout on social media. My thing is, if you want to do that, like I mentioned, go on the racetrack and do that. Don't sit there and go on the highway, sit up here, putting everybody's lives in danger. My thing is, I, I don't have time for this stuff. People are trying to get to work, trying to get to their loved ones, trying to go to the store, the mall, wherever they choose to go to. They don't want to sit up here and worry about them being in a body bag. My thing is, stop driving crazy, people. All these bad driving habits, you got people sitting up here on their phones, uh, sitting up here talking to each other, not paying attention to what's around them, not using those mirrors and those rear view mirror. And nowadays, drivers really don't have no excuse because in these new cars, you got the uh, sensors that will tell you that a car is on your blind spot. But yet, and still, they don't pay attention to the safety features on these vehicles. They proceed to sit there and still drive crazy like it's 1995. Stop driving crazy and we wouldn't have so many uh, fatalities. We wouldn't have so many car accidents. We have a whole bunch of car accidents in America because you got a bunch of uh, ignorant people, a bunch of dangerous drivers who just don't care. They would just sit there and uh, kill themselves and kill you right with them. And then when it comes to the weather and the rain and the snow, they still drive crazy. I don't know, understand why a lot of you truck drivers feel that just because you got monster tires on your truck, you can drive, drive so doggone fast like a bat out of hell on rain and snow. No, you would slide too, just like a car. You would slide too. I have seen trucks in the ravine when it was snowing on the highways very bad, or if it was raining or hailing or whatever the case may be. Stop driving fast in bad weather, people. It's not that hard. Pay attention to what's around you. Get off them cell phones. Stop sitting up here just laughing or drinking, smoking, doing crazy bad habits on why you on behind the wheel and actually pay attention to what's going on because we want to get to our destination in peace. We don't want to get there in a body bag or end up with injuries like I have right now with my back being sore for four years and counting. So I don't have really much to say about that. People drive safe. Don't do nothing stupid. Be considerate of other people. So with that being said, I'm out. Peace.